Hi, Fernanda. Hey. How are you? Good. Start in just a couple moments. You just need a band and some dumbbells. Okay. That's it. All right, we got Christina and Paulina. You ladies will just need a pair of dumbbells. And today we will be using a band. So if you have like a glute loop or a band like this, definitely want to whip it out. We have one more minute. And the time is now 12 o'clock. All right, on your feet, starting with some jumping jacks. Hope everyone's having a good day. If not, let's make it better with some movement. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do some single leg hops, balance on one leg for 30 seconds, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Hop on one leg for 30 seconds. Activating that leg, almost there. Then we're gonna do the other side. and release. All right, other side in five, four, three, two, one, go. Big difference between sides. Make sure you get some left. 
Coming around to see those hops. Yes, bouncing on that one foot. Wait for 10 more seconds. And release, all right. Give me a reverse lunge, twist over that front leg, step it together. Legs should feel nice and strong now. Really stable. All right, now take it down to the floor. You're gonna give me hands and knees down, opposite arm and leg extend. Come out to a diagonal, back to center, switch. Waking up our core. Two more times each side. All right, you should curl your back toes now. You're in this bear plank. You're going to make sure you can see me. Walk your feet out, walk them back in, walk them out, push up. Go in, out, in, out, push up. Give me 10 rounds. Keep it up. Try to get those hips same height as your shoulders. Don't let them stick way far out. Should be more than halfway there. Should be on that like seventh or eighth rep. Get quick. After you've done your 10 rounds, look up at the screen. That's brand is ready. All right, stay, stay nice and low. You're going to, from your plank, come to your down dog, reach for opposite foot to hand. Come back to a perfect plank, reach back, come forward. Give me 20 rounds. So you reset to that perfect plank each and every time. Nice job, you guys. Just warming up the front and back side body. Good job. Keep it up. Yes, good job. All right, stay nice and low, yet again. You're gonna step that right foot forward, sink your hips, twist, right elbow to the inside, twist again, switch. Left foot forward, sink your hips. One more time, each side. All right, now coming down to the floor, make a 90 degree angle with your front leg and a 90 degree angle with your back leg. So notice that my knee and my heel aren't close to one another. My heel, my knee becomes in line with my hips, my heel in line with my knee, 90 degree angle. From here, you're gonna reach to our diagonal. Pause, come back. 
reach forward, center now. Back up, now reach to the other diagonal. Come back up, lean back, swivel on those heels to the other side. Adjust that 90 degree angle, square up those shoulders. Reach to one corner, come back up, center, come back up, other corner. Oh, that's what she feels so good. We'll do that again, other side. Sit nice and tall first, reach for that corner. Back on those hips, try to keep both heels planted on the floor. Awesome. And we'll stand it up. Grab your band. This is like warm up 2.0, this little band work. We're just gonna activate a little bit more of our glutes. Strap this band on. Um, more challenges below the knees. If you need a little bit more relief, bring it above your knees on your thighs. You're just going to, if you need support, you can come get support. You're just going to have some kickbacks, all right? For 45 seconds on each side. All right, we start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One side. You don't have to be fast. Just want to keep that activation building up in our glutes, hamstrings, even working the feet if you're doing this barefoot. That left foot really has to drive into the floor. Last five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Second side, starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Go ahead and check. Nice. It doesn't have to be super big kick. Final 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, release. All right. Whew. So now you should be really activated from your core all the way through your lower body, even those shoulders and upper back from that warm up. We're going to work power and strength. So for the first one, whew, you can have a dumbbell or no dumbbell. What we're going to work on is a side lunge, but we're going to drop into it. So pick up that leg and you're going to drop, come back up. Notice that that's very different than if I just step it out. Same move, I'm just amplifying the intensity and adding that power element to it. So knee drive, activate your core nice and tight, drop, come back in, super quick. You can amplify with a dumbbell, same thing, knee drive, you're gonna drop, and come back in and we're gonna add a hop, okay? Optional hop there. You'll have one side that will work that same drop, other side, okay? That's move number two. Move number three, clear some space. You're going to have a broad jump, shuffle back. Shuffle back nice and quick, right? So don't stand up all the way, walk slowly. Give yourself that athletic shuffle, okay? Give yourself that opportunity to play. Then you're going to come on down. You're gonna have a sprinter sit up. Okay, we're working power. You're gonna drive your knees to your chest as you sit it up. Okay, do you wanna take out the intensity of this? Opposite knee to elbow. We're just exaggerating that knee drive. That's what makes it the powerful sprinter sit up. Then we're going to, <laughs> We're gonna get rid of all of our weights here, body weight exercise, working for quickness. You're gonna have quick shuffle, strike. 
Quick shuffle, strike, reach down to the floor. Quick, quick, down. Quick, quick, down. Okay, side to side. Our last move, you're just going to work in that knee drive once more. This time down to the floor, you're gonna have a push up, knee drive. Push up, knee drive. Each move, 30 seconds. We're gonna aim to do this power round three times, okay? It's six exercises, don't worry if you've already like, what was move number four? I'll call it out, okay? Starting with your side lunge. We're gonna drop right into it, option to grab that weight or not. 30 seconds, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Pick up that knee, drop. Quickly pick it up, drop. Quick, make it quick. 15 more seconds here. Good job, Paulina. Even quicker with that knee back in. Zip, zip it on up. Good job, Fernanda. Here for three, two, one. All right, let's work the other side. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Side two, knee drive. Down, we're gonna come up. Drop into it. Literally drop. That right foot stays. Anchor down, that right leg is straight. The only one that bends is the leg that I'm dropping into. Here for five more seconds. Trust that you're gonna catch yourself. Three, two, one, release. All right, drop your weight, clear some space, 30 seconds. Broad jump, shuffle back. Three, two, one, let's go. Send those hips forward. Those legs are nice and activated from the warm up. 10 more seconds here. Quick shuffles. You got it, Paulina. And release. All right, moving on. You have your sprinter sit up down to the floor. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Quick, sharp breath. 10 more seconds. Don't hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stand it up. We're gonna have the quick feet with that strike, touch the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Quick feet, touch down. Quick feet, touch down. Those hip points face forward the entire time. You're just moving your body from side to side. Good job, Christina. Quicker and smaller steps. Final five, four, three, two, one. All right, down to the floor. Push up with your knee drive. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. It's only 30 seconds. Stay with it. Get into those arms before we get into those legs. One more time. Final three, two, one. Stand it up. Whew. Catch your breath. We start from the top. You got through those six movements. So easy. <laughs> All right, round two. Grab that dumbbell or don't. Dropping into your lateral lunge. Left foot stays planted, right knee comes up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Drop into it. Come on up. Drop. Squeeze it back in. Five, 
Really drop into that right side. Left leg stays so straight. Don't bend that left leg. This leg is straight. And release. All right, other side. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Quick. Drop, quick. Drop your whole weight. Yes, good job. Okay, for 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, broad jump shuffle, bring it back. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Send your hips forward, go. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. All right, now you have your sprinter set up. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one, go. More challenge, you hover your feet off of the floor. Be quick about those knee drives. Power, we're working those explosive movements, even from our homes. Final five, four, three, two, one. And stand it on up, lateral quick feet. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Notice for these, in order to be quick, you can't stand up super high and erect. Kind of got to stay with a tight core. Yes, keep going, almost there. Final five, four, three, two, one, release. All right, we're down to push up plus knee drive. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Stay with it. Final five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Stand it up, catch your breath. We have one more round. Whew. Power, you gotta love it. It's love, hate. <laughs> Feels so good though. All right, we start back with your lateral lunge. Maybe this time you drop your weight and you add that hop. All right, that knee drive. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Drop into it. Hop. Drop into it. Really drop. Zip. Drop. Zip. 15 more seconds. Hopefully you're listening to something good. I know I am. 10 more seconds. Do the last five with a smile. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, other side. Side it back up in five, four, three, two, one. Drop into it. Knee drop. Maybe you keep that right leg super straight when you come out to that lunge. You zip it together using your core and inner thighs. 10 more seconds is last time here. Three, two, one. Clear some space. Starting back in five, four, three, two, one. Right into it, broad jump. Shuffle back, broad jump. Five, 
Don't put any corners on those shuffle backs. Make them count. Quick, quick, quick. Good job, Christina. Nice intensity. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. And let it go. All right, down to the floor. Last round of sprinter sit ups. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stand it up, lateral quick feet. Find a round in five, four, three, two, one. Get after it. Quick feet, touch the floor. You're a machine powered by your mind. Tell your body what to do right now. Don't get distracted with negative self-talk. There's no room for it. You're here right now. And if for 10 more seconds, how quick can you make it? And release. Nice job. All right, last one. Push up plus knee drive. Down to the floor. Setting in three, two, one. Let's go. Kick your nose. Knee to nose. Final 10 seconds. You're about to break. Breathe. Here for no more time. You're done. Release. All right, stand it on up. Catch some water. Watch me. We're moving now into our strength. So we're gonna slow it down just ever so slightly. <laughs> Move number one, we're gonna have a plank walkout. So coming into that perfect plank, your hands are right underneath your shoulders to start with. You're gonna walk them out as far as you can. Hold, walk them back underneath of you. You guessed it, <laughs> and your push up. Walk it out, find that brief hold, where you feel everything firing up, then walk your hands back in. That's move number one. Move number two, wrapping that dumbbell, you're gonna have a single arm alternating bent over row. So that's a lot of words. We're just going to place the dumbbell right in between our legs, squeeze our glutes, tighten our core. You're just going to row, drop the weight, switch sides. Make it powerful, explode. Drive that elbow back, okay? That's move number two. Move number three and four, you're just gonna have a Bulgarian split squat. So grabbing one dumbbell or two, you pop your foot up on your chair, your couch, wherever you're at. You're just gonna bring that back knee straight down. Come on up. If you bend ever so slightly, just a little bit, notice I didn't hunch over, but I just tilt my body forward Knee goes straight back. Now I'm activating a little bit more of my glutes as I stand up. You'll we'll have side one, side two, just four exercises for strength. And we'll do three rounds. This time, 45 seconds each move. So we're adding an additional 15 seconds and slowing things down. All right, starting with those plank walkouts, walk those hands back, add your push up. starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, good job. You extend as long as you can hold it, right, without collapsing. Find that moment where it feels like, oh shit, I might fall. Hold it for three seconds and then walk those hands back in. Add that push up.
You'll be out of this in five, four, three, two, one. All right, stand it up, grab that dumbbell right in between your legs, bent over, alternating single arm row. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. No rounding of the back. You bend into your legs to get closer to the floor. Use your core. Stay with your chest over the dumbbell. Keep it up. 15 more seconds, that's nothing. Don't come up, Christina, stay bent over. So don't lift your upper body. You're staying low, stay bent over. Three, two, one, release. All right, two, your platform, whatever you got for those Bulgarian split squats. Grab one dumbbell or two, starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Halfway there. Take time on the side. See how different it feels when you add that slight tilt forward of your upper body or when you stand erect. Notice how one changes the way that you feel it in your legs. And release. All right, second side, starting in five. Give yourself a moment to reset. Three, two, one, let's go. Looking good. Halfway there on this side. Ten more seconds. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right. Drop those weights. Roll out your wrist. You're going to start back at the top with your plank walkouts. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. like limbo, how low can you go? How far can you make yourself almost parallel to the ground? 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, release. All right, stand it up, get that dumbbell right in between your legs. First we were pushing, now we're pulling, starting in five, four, three, Two, one, go. Squeeze your glutes, tighten your core, bend into your legs. Stay bent over. Get that weight off of your legs when you stand up. So no pressure on one side. You're literally using your core and your back muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, grab your weights. Bulgarian split squat one more time. Let's go. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go.
halfway there. Final five, four, three, two, one. All right, time to get into the second leg. Same love, starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Think of pushing your hips straight back so your knee goes straight down to the floor. So hips go back, back, back as that knee touches the floor and comes right back up. You guys are looking great. 15 more seconds on this side. and release all right moving on we have one more round last and final round of the string circuit so get back down to your hands and knees we're starting back at the top in five four three two one go this string portion is building on what you worked on with those power moves those explosive moves Kind of building on that with some weight, slowing things down. You're crushing it though. You only have 30 more seconds with this plank walkout. That's nothing. You've already gotten through two rounds. This last round, you push it just a little bit further. Walk those hands out just another inch. Give yourself that challenge. You're primed and ready. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, release. All right, time to alternate your rows. Starting back up in five, four. Avoid putting pressure on your leg when you row, okay? Get your weight off, use your core, use strength of your glutes to squeeze so that there's no funkiness in your back. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Just had to give one last little bit of instruction because I want you to get the most out of this last round. Halfway there. Get that weight off of your leg. Cover your arm, your opposing arm. Don't let it rest on your thigh. No resting on your thigh, just hovering. Or you use that arm for counterbalance, bring it out. Final five, four, three, two, one, release. All right, moving to our Bulgarian split squats one last time, doing my happy dance. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Should be feeling all the love in the back side of the legs, in your glutes, even your quads, depending on how you're going down. Keep that core nice and tight. Don't let those ribs pop out. You're here for 10 more seconds on this side. and release. All right, side number two, starting back up in five, four, three, two, one, go.
20 more seconds on this side. Everything looks good. Okay, a little lower into that front leg. Remember, you shift your hips back so your knee can go straight down to the floor. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release that weight. You've made it to the finisher. <laughs> So no more circuits like that, but we do have a quick little finisher. For the first one, you can have a strap on or off, but your first two exercises, we're going to be working our side plank. You're gonna have side plank plus a hip dip plus a leg raise. Ultimate combo move. All right, so coming into a forearm side plank, you're gonna dip your hips once you come up, Give me a leg raise. So dip your hip, leg raise. Okay, you'll have that side. Then you'll have the second side, same thing. You can do this without a band. The band is just there if you want that like extra push. Then you're going to keep that band on if you have it already. You're going to come into a glute bridge. Drive your heels down. Heels are shoulder width or hip width distance apart. Squeeze your glutes up. Keep them squeezed as you lower and lift your hips. Okay, that's your third move. Your last move, stand it on up. Again, you can keep your band on this whole time or you add it on for those glute bridges, keep it on. And you're just going to give me a cha-cha. Okay, speed it up, cha-cha. All right, those are your four moves. We're gonna run through it one time. You're gonna have 45 seconds on each side or on each move. Down to the floor, you decide you want that band or not. One time, all right, one time. This is your only chance to get the love from these moves. So no shortcuts. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Dip, lift, dip, lift. And I lied, we're only doing it for 30 seconds, not 45. So you have 10 more seconds here. Good job, Fernanda. You have a heavy band on. 10 more seconds. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, second side, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Christina, try to get your shoulder, um, your elbow right underneath of your shoulder. So don't let your elbow be out so far out in front of you. Stack it right underneath your body. Better, yes. That'll give you more shoulder stability. 10 more seconds here. You got it, Fernanda, come on. You can do it. Final five, four, three, two, one. All right, to the ground. Plant your feet, lower and lift your hips in five, four, three, two, one, go. You keep tension on the band by pressing into it with your outer thighs. Press into that band. Almost there. Final five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. All right, last move, your cha-cha. You're just gonna step out to corners. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Those feet never come fully together. They kind of plant hip width distance apart as you reach your foot back to opposite corners. Almost there, 10 seconds, you can do it. Final 10 seconds of class. Sit a little lower for five, 
four, three, two, one. Let that band go. Good job, ladies. Let's stretch. Whew, total body. We did a lot of single leg stuff. So I wanna stretch out our calves and all of our legs. So mm, let's do a low lunge first. Step your right foot forward, drop your left knee down, scooch it way, way back. Hands come to your thigh. You can add a little bounce here. Find stillness, lift your left arm up towards the sky and then slightly bend over to the right side. Awesome. Bring your hands to the ground. Now send your hips back straight in the front leg. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Keep reaching the top of your head towards your toes. Come back. And then curl your back toes, jump switch your feet. So left leg forward, right knee drops. Hands come to your left thigh. You can add that little bounce if that feels good. You never want to force or stretching. It kind of just happens over time. Lift that right arm up by your ear. Slight bend over to the left. Keep your left knee tracking over your left toes. Awesome, hands come down. Send your hips back, straighten the front leg. Awesome. Come down, soles of your feet to touch, knees out wide. Sit up nice and tall, and then bow towards your feet. Now stretch your legs out in front of you. Bring your right heel on top of your left toes. And then grab for your right toes and pull them back to get a nice calf stretch on the right side. Really pull those toes back to the right ones. Other side, right foot down, left foot up. Bring those left toes back towards your face and then bow over that left leg. Last one we'll do is a straddle. Reach for your right toes, your left hand. Come on up with that left hand, bring it behind you. Press your head back against your left arm. And then other side, right arm reaches towards your left toes. Come on up, keep that right arm in the sky. Right hand finds your back. Left hand assist, press your head back into your right arm. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies. Nice little quick burn. Hopefully you're having a great day. And if not, hopefully this made it better. I'll be here next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.